Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to have another question and answer. So let's get right to it. Now I'm going to try not to mess this name up. Tassetti says, my question to you is having a seven channel system that includes seven towers around the box overkill. Uh, this one was on bookshelves versus towers. And we actually kind of covered that in the video, but so it looks like he just wants to know if it's overkill to have towers all the way around his room. And uh, that's kind of a, a tricky question. Um, it may not be overkill at all, but it could really impact the sound quality in the room. We talked about in that video, a two-way speaker, a tower, that's a two-way, is often going to be crossing the vocals over to the woofers. Not, it's not going to be in the tweeter. So your woofers are handling the majority of the vocals. So on a tower, they're usually being shot right into the side of the seating, especially in a seven channel. You know, with your rears, everything's being shot into the back of the seating. You know, the tweeter may not even be above the seating. So having the proper height is key. You know, Dolby, they spec 1.25 times the height of the LCR for your, you know, your surrounds or rears. Trinov actually just goes ahead and says it, raise them up, they recommend a foot. And it does sound better. You have to get those speakers up above, you know, the seat backs and the people that are seated next to you. So there are adjustments you need to make to that bed layer just to get good sound. We're not trying to impress everyone with just, you know, we've got towers all around or, the, you know, it's so much deeper. We want quality sound. So we have to think about what's producing what. Now, if we've got towers with a mid range, now we know that those crossover frequencies are being handled in a way that now our mid range is going to be producing most of the vocals. So maybe our mid range is up high enough. You know, now our vocals or our acoustic center of that speaker is up high enough where we can use those as surrounds and get you know, a good outcome. We can get good sound out of it. We're not being blocked by the seats and people sitting next to us down the rear. It's still going to be difficult. I mean, you're probably still going to have to raise them up a little bit, maybe put something under the towers, unless they're just crazy tall. Uh, most of these seat backs are 44 inches tall. And, you know, if you have a three-way, then get in the mid-range above that, you know, you're looking at a, a speaker that's dang near five feet tall, if not a little taller, especially if it's a two-way, because you have to get the you know, the woofers plus the tweeter above seat backs. So I wouldn't be too worried about towers being overkill. I would be worried about the quality of sound you're getting. A lot of times, you know, a tower is just gonna give you uh, a deeper frequency response, like how deep the speaker extends, you know, over like a bookshelf. But if you compare it to a bookshelf, a lot of times it has the same, you know, the same tweeter, may even have the same woofer in that bookshelf but the towers may have more of those woofers so your quality may not be e any better at all you know as far as the drivers go you know but you're causing problems in the room that are going to greatly impact the quality of your sound so uh, you know bookshelves are not bad in any way and especially when you're using bass management you're crossing over to a subwoofer the whole reason that we use subwoofers not only to handle the LFE channel and to take the load off of our mains and our, you know, the rest of our speakers in the room, we cross over to subs because when we use multiple subs, we can have a more similar response seat to seat if we know how to place them. So anytime we have one speaker that's being allowed to play down low by itself, our seat to seat kind of goes out the window. So having towers and like running the full range isn't really a plus quality wise because when we run in full range that allows any given speaker to play a low frequency by itself those modal frequencies when you step here you have a lot of bass you step here and the bass is gone that's what's gonna you're gonna bring back into your room when you play a speaker full range we want the subs to play as much of those frequencies as we can you know we don't want it to be too localized you know so we can't go too too high but as high as possible because that puts more of the sound, more of the low frequencies uh, in a realm where we're controlling the room modes and we're giving each seat a nice response. So don't get too hung up on towers are bigger, so they must be better. Don't think that you're gonna get better performance using all towers. It's absolutely not the case at all. Doesn't mean it's gonna sound bad, but it doesn't mean it's gonna sound good. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Leave your questions down in the comments section. I am going to be looking and maybe you'll get added to one of the new uh, question and answer videos coming up. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know the new ones come out. Like this video and also check out the description down below. I've got a lot of associate links. Those help the channel out. You know, maybe you see something you want down there, something you're interested in. 
Also, a lot of people have asked me to start a Patreon. They just want to say thank you or, you know, whatever. I kind of felt it was weird to start a Patreon, but so I have started one. There's one down there now. So just check all that out. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you all next time.